All right, guys, Shotty T here with a crystal opening video. This is Act 7.2.6, 100% exploration. Um, we're going to open up some crystals. We had already opened up this 26 star six stones. I had an interruption in the middle of the video. I did not want that text to be on the live recording. So I just said, I'm just gonna hope I don't get another notification, but I turn do not disturb to that one individual person. So I don't get any more text, um, at least until this video is op over. So as I was saying, well, of course you don't know what I was saying because I don't have that recording. But I'm going to open up the 25% uh, tier clash for fragment first. But to see what you see where I am um, right now, we have we just formed the cosmic with the selector. So we want to make sure we guarantee getting a silver surfer to rank three. Now, watch I end up pulling another cosmic out of this 25%. That's usually how it works. But I can form a skill or a mutant if I get two of one of those classes. I already have a science, I have a skill, and tech will probably be the, the long-term one that I'll probably end up having to get. I know the algorithm in the game kind of forces you to balance your rank ups, and I've been trying to do that for the most part. Um, I got three mystics already. Um, Silver Surf will be my third cosmic i have two science two mutant two skill and one tech so i think i might be off by one of those counts on let me just go back and just look do a quick quick um so starting from venom pretty much so we got two cosmics because silver surfer even though he looks like he's ranked three he's only ranked two uh so we got two cosmics gonna be three we got two mutants we got three mystics two science two skill and one tech so um so yeah tech more than likely i wouldn't be surprised if i get two tech out of this because i try to like I, said, I try to balance my rank ups but then again you never know so let's go ahead and open these one at a time. All right, first one here. There it is. All right, there's one tick. Over under one more tick. So I wouldn't be surprised. There's something about that algorithm say anything but a cosmic I just formed that I said skill wouldn't be bad because I have I mean I always think about rank four options in the future for a gun all right so last one will it be tech will it be mutant let's see yep mutant so the three that that I I guess most likely wanted to get. I got so I guess that wasn't a bad opening. Okay, so balanced. Now the one to two gem. Oops, maybe I didn't hit that. All right, so the one to two rank up gem. Really, it doesn't matter. But anything but tech. Cause I already have a tech one to two. So if I could save some resources for some other class, it doesn't matter what class it is. It's anything but tech. All right. Let's see. Mutant would be nice, of course, but let's see. Okay, got skill. So we're setting up the door to put another skill champ to rank three. All right, and we got some candidates. I may try to save it for a champ I don't have. Um, and But I could get that champ in this crystal today. You never know. So I think that's all the big crystals there. Yep. So now we're going to go to the uh, regular Cavalier crystal. Go ahead and open this here. If we can get a four star champ. That would be awesome. But then we can open up a feature five star from the sigil. 
But if not, we'll just do a basic. Four star champ. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do a feature five star champ. Yep, I think we got just enough shards. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go to the sigil here and do the 11K. And I already went to the sigil store for the feature six star, so there will be a feature six star crystal in this opening. And like I said, if there's a skill champ that I could potentially get, that'll be a rank three candidate. I have the, most of the materials already. All right, so feature five star, obviously Strife would be awesome. Uh, I don't have him, I don't have Mangog, I don't have uh, Super Scroll, and I don't have Jubilee. So every other champ I have. So, so really we're just looking for a feature champ. Uh, last time I opened this, I did end up getting Black Bolt, like the exclusive champ who's not available in any other crystal. So Awaken him, I guess would be okay if, if I don't get those four. But instead we get 20 more six on Invisible Woman. And I believe she's like 120, 140, no, 180, wow. I never put any six in her either, so I just pulled her that many times. All right, so now we're gonna go to the basic six star or the feature, yeah, let's do the basic first. All right, so obviously the rule is if I get a great dupe or a, a god tier new champ, or at least yeah, God tier, because there are different levels of God tier. You got beyond God tier, and then you got three levels of God tier, but at least minimum God tier, new champ, or a good dupe. And, okay, that's a good dupe. That's a really good dupe there. So, first time awaken Killmonger. All right. Get some bonus attack and make him a better defender. Who knows? He could be the rank three option. You never know. But... I'd rather not be him, but here we go. Feature six star. Obviously, Shang-Chi is the prize of this, but there are some other pretty good options as well. All right, uh, Mr. Negative would be nice. I don't have him as a five star. Um, Silver Centurion, those are the top three options. Then Mojo, then Mangog, in that order. So. And of course, Awakening. Oh yeah, Jabari Panther, forgot about her. Yeah, that's another good one too. Uh, so screw the order. But anyway, um, Captain Marvel Moody will be another great option for a dupe. So let's see. And we are going to get Mangog. Okay. So we got a feature champ. Didn't have him as a five star, so we'll take that. Screenshot that one there. Okay. And last, we have the six star nexus. All right, we're gonna go in and out on this one. The last six star nexus wasn't the greatest. So hopefully I can get at least one great option out of the three or just have a great dilemma. That would be the ideal scenario. But let's see, just one great champ out of this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we got a dilemma, guys. We're gonna screenshot this first and foremost. So here's the deal. I have a lot of mutants. Um, I got Colossus, he's ranked one, and that may send him to rank two. Um, and then I have Magneto, who's ranked three, Sunspot, who's ranked three. I have Namor. Um, I don't really use Omega that much, to be honest with you. I really don't. I have him as a five-star SIG 200. I don't run suicides. So it seems like I'm making the case to get Hulkbuster. I do have Hulkbuster at rank five, also SIG 200. Now, he does benefit from his Awakening ability, though. Both of these guys do. Both of these benefit from their awakening ability and high sig. Um, now for the algorithm, because I know how this game works, I really do. It seems like the, 
the game tends to skew a certain class if you pick wrong. So for that, and I know I'm, I'm in the majority, I'm in the minority on this, but who knows, other people may choose this guy as well. But man, it's so hard to pass up or make a red man suicides. And I know I know what he can do. Uh, but I don't want suicides, that's the thing. Yeah. Mm. I simply can't decide. Now Thor is out the pit or Thor is out the door. So we're not we're not we're we're out debating Thor, so if you scratch him. Um Okay. I have a tech one to two gem. Can I use it on him? I don't have any awakening gems. So I obviously have to awaken him. I have to awaken Omega Red too. So it's almost a tie there. Who is better unawakened? That's the question. I would say Hope Buster because of the damage output. Um, because the awakening ability gives him regen, extra regen, his last 15%. And that's good. That's clutch to have in a lot of scenario especially starburst type nodes but but his damage output doesn't benefit as much from the awakening ability he does get some benefit when he's regenerating more attack um and then omega red i mean the consensus is he has to be awakened in high stick to be pretty effective and i've already put all my six on the sunspot um, six, 200, and like I say, he's unawakened. Now, will I get new, um, will I get new six stones in the future to build up another six star? Yes, but we're gonna go with Hulk Buster. I know it, it's, it's a tough decision, but that's what we're gonna go with. And we're not gonna look back. That's how much I love Hulk Buster. Now, nobody would have ever thought this two years ago before he got his buff. Like, oh, Mega Red, hands down. Matter of fact, I'll pick Thor over <laughs> this guy. But things change. And, I, and like I said, I use him quite a bit. So, so to recap, we're going to be sending Silver Surfer to rank three. I may not even wait to the level up event because I have enough level up event I can use for these champs. Um, so I can use a level up event to take these guys up. So I may go ahead and take Silver Surfer straight to rank three right now. But just to give you an idea how bad, how this decision wasn't as hard as you think it may have been. My tech plaid is kind of struggling. Now I got Guillotine 99, I got Ultron Awakened. All right. I don't have Guardian, don't have Warlock. And you guys saw he was clutch in that uh, fight. Uh, Silver Centurion. Tech class is pretty weak for the most part. I mean, I got Ghost. She's not awakened. Um, and she's already ranked two. So, as far as uh, Mutant goes, I pretty much gave you guys a rundown. We got Storm Pyramid X, Archangel. I just picked up Professor X. I got Cable for the Apocalypse Energy Bishop getting the buff. Uh, we got White Magneto. So just so many mutants. And still some other ones I still don't have. Apocalypse, Domino, Havoc, Iceman, Mr. Sinister, Strife, Omega Red. It's just going to be in a long line of people to rank up and he's unawakened. So, so that's the reason why I made that decision. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And what would you have done? Would you have gotten Apocalypse? Or not Apocalypse. Would you have gotten Hulk Buster? Or would you have gotten Omega Red? I guess it depends if you run suicides or not. I don't. So, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please uh, comment below what you think. And uh, like, share, subscribe. And hit that bell notification.